Let's talk high school football. I recently stopped by El Dorado High School, caught up with the football team. Now, this is a squad that went 5-5 five and five last year, made it to the postseason. And their mantra is simple, do your job. And it's evident during these summer workouts. In fact, a lot of players stay after practice to perfect their craft. And their offense, woo, it can be explosive. Uh, it just shows the commitment of uh, all the receivers. And we just like to get out there and throw and have fun. If everyone plays like we can, we'll definitely be good. Good ball, good catch. Yeah, we got some good, good skill players and some good offensive linemen this year. There's lots of uncertainty with a pandemic. So El Dorado focuses on what they can control. Unique circumstances, just to say the least, with the whole situation. But we're just glad to be back, being able to prepare. It's uh, part of the game we love the most. Um, and I'm just so proud of the kids' commitment level and, and the way they've uh, slowly kind of eased back into the process here as we've moved through the summer. Right, everybody wants to learn, it seems like. Everybody, there's nobody that has a bad attitude, nothing like that. We're all just wanting to learn have fun. The Eagles lost some key players, but they returned their quarterback. Aiden Whitlock, a 6'3 lefty, can sling it. He's the leader on this team. The quarterback's back for the third year, so that's a positive. And we're trying to, we've lost some receivers each year that have been uh, uh, solid in the Black Diamond Conference. So we're trying to piece the puzzle, puzzle around uh, our quarterback a little bit. But so far, been very pleased with uh, some of the things that they've picked up and been able to get better each day. I've been trying to work on my arm strength, a lot of uh, just conditioning and conditioning the arm and stuff, but just working. Yeah, I think having the quarterback that we do opens up a lot more things like spread passing, and then we have big linemen too, so we have pretty much can do anything. El Dorado faced some adversity last season and still made the playoffs. It was next man up. We basically, you know, had, uh, uh, not to get into detail, but we lost five offensive line starters uh, through the off season last year and through the season, uh, and it was tough to deal with, and, and I was proud that we were able to still find a way to uh, eke into the playoffs and, and, and battle as best we could. Uh, the advantage to that this year is uh, we've got some experience coming back, not necessarily in age, but just kids that have, have, had, have played at the varsity level. So uh, that's positive, and we're trying to build on it. Everyone's work, work ethic is really good this year. People show up. O-line's the heartbeat of the football team, you know. I think they'll be good this year, and it will, they'll be good.